Hi everyone, it's Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a workaround how you can change the default three groups of permission levels, uh, edit, uh, read, and full control for the members, uh, owners, and visitors. By default, uh, Microsoft blocked it, so let's see how we do it. So I will go to the gear icon, and I will go to site permissions. In the bottom, we will go to advanced permissions. We'll show the classical way of seeing the permissions. And as you see here, members has edit, owners have full control, and visitors have read. If we mark one of them, it's not possible to edit the permissions. Now, lots of people say edit is a powerful uh, permission level. It enables a user to delete lists and library and contribute is sufficient. So I'll show you how to do it. Actually, what we need to do is to click create group and we will create a demo uh, group just for uh, testing and I will give contribute. I'll click create and the group will be created. Let me go back and to the permissions. I'll go back and actually I will refresh to see the new group. So this is the demo group with contribute. Now uh, in order to know the group ID for the members we'll just enter it and we will see on top that we see group ID 5. So let's remember this. Now what we want to do is to take the new group and edit the permissions and what we will do is to switch the ID that is here with the ID 5, which is the members group. If I enter, uh, then you see I'm now switched to the um, members group and now I can adjust it to contribute. So I'll click OK actually and now I can delete the, the the demo group, I'll click remove, and what we see now is actually that we have um, the members have contribute. It's actually the people that are part of the 365 group. They are actually now they have um, contribute instead of edit. Um, now, one warning is uh, you might want to check what the effect is on the Teams, uh, if this uh, site is connected to a Teams. Um, in general, I think uh, it should not affect anything. It just would give uh, less uh, functionality, but the functionality of Contribute is sufficient, especially if you want to add documents, delete documents, and do all of the rest. If you need the users to add columns then maybe you should keep some of them um, in edit but this is a, a workaround and it saves uh, lots of time uh, so this is what I wanted to show you if you like my channel subscribe and see you in the next episode goodbye